Alright, alright. Let's create a new character here. Let's go to the crucible and start grabbing all those items. All of those leveling items, right? This time I should have like all the main diets, right? GD item assistant time, yeah. Not not GD stash, don't don't try to make you to think I'm cheating again. <laughs> like literally every sec every second time I upload like a speed level in a video, there's like some guy saying like yeah, it would be great to like see you actually like level in a legit way and not like cheat. Very <laughs> uh, <goddamn> time, dude. <clears throat> All right, eight pots. We take all, right, all of these, right? Let's go, kind as well, right? When in doubt, coming out. Um, what's the salt bag here? We gotta get this one as well. Gotta get the Levanus' rings, right? One, two. Where are the other two? The two with the. Oh, there it is. But I have so many here. What the hell? I have like too many Levanus' rings here. Too many. And uh, let's get the gloves as well. Right? These are decent. Uh, 15 gloves. Then we can get the. Mistwalker Legends, right? Alchemist Belt. What else? The Relic, right? Oh yeah, don't have the Relic this time either, right? Because that's still fucked up. Um, this one has Aether Rest, right? The Glutton there. One as well. Might as well use that one. Why not, right? Why not? So scrap, why not try to get some Aether Crosses as well, actually. And uh, some Dynamite can also like, never hurt. There we go. What else do we need? I think that's all right. You wear two rings on each finger? Nice. <laughs> Alright, then we can just like craft the stuff for the local set, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know where the one with like the other... Like components for low levels even went to, but oh well. It's not really like that important anyway. Wear a cock ring? Nice. Ah, that's why you have like 11 rings on it. Right, let's get the. Uh, we know we gotta just like farm. Turnox, right? Let's get the lore notes. But dude, like, both um, Water Trap as well as the Gardens are like so deep into the tree, right? I can't like use either of them early on. Like, we gotta use something like Cocktail, at least for the like very first quest, right? <clears throat> Go deep. Just go deep in the tree. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can. Welcome in, Naomi. Welcome in, welcome in. Early Grum Yawn? What do you mean, early? Did you just woke up? Just wake up? How's your Diablo 3? Playthrough on the whatever you're gonna play going right now. Just use fireball only. Kill Kazak and Ultimate with fireball only. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's a little loud, right? I thought so too, yep. Yeah. It's a little loud today. 
Um, oh. Good enough, nice, okay. <laughs> Don't forget Steel Cup last track, right? Steel Cup. Steel Cup. I actually forgot um, Barham though. Steel Cup is the best one, yeah, yeah. Steel Cup gives you like instant level 50, dude. I mean, there are three nodes in Homestead, that's true. I don't have Warden's Lab yet. I don't have Burbage. Um, like. What's it called? Burbage Village, either. <clears throat> like, Burbage Village is like the most important one, anyway, for the Dyrene quest, right? I'm gonna find a guide for Warlord leveling up. I mean, you could just like follow my Soldier Force Wave leveling guide and then I'll just like uh, add Oathkeeper as a supportive mastery. I mean, yeah. Where is it? Somewhere in there, right? Uh, the second link GG Mastery leveling guides, right? You look at the how to level a force wave with two hand force wave. I mean, how to level a soldier with two hand force wave video, right? And then you just like add old keeper as like a secondary support class. It's like all you need. I mean, actually, I do talk about like secondary support classes there as well a bit, right? Um, we go ultimate now, right? Yeah, we go ultimate. I mean, you can also level force wave in like other ways, but. Force Wave is like, I would say, the most straightforward, like, beginner friendly way to do it, I would say. Might as well pop it already, right? I kinda wanna click on the corpse, but, like, they're blocking me so hard, holy shit. That was not worth it. Um, I'm playing fire, right? So let's just go for the Francis gun real quick. Yo, Nectarin, welcome and welcome. Uh, we don't need the axe, right? The axe is not gonna be needed here. Uh, this one is blocked anyway. Let's go get these journals done. Hello. Open the door, please. Yo Stan, welcome on, welcome on. Welcome in, Arcanandu. Nice. <laughs> uh, why is the Boston Order of Kovia named after me? Um, it's because Mike, Mike Fick and me organize like a total of three PvP tournaments. And um, they put like a three like champions basically of three tournaments into the game and I did win the first one and the other two were both won by Eldrick that's why we'll see like two different Eldricks there uh, there was no like actual guy called Boris though Boris has been there before our time okay so we're gonna 
Okay, Mortal Trap is 25 points. This one is 32. Okay, we can like rather reach Mortal Trap, right? I think. Yeah, this can actually work. Alright. Yeah, I mean, you guys wanted to see Mortal Trap, so we're doing Mortal Trap. Probably mostly physique, maybe some spirit, not sure yet. I want not some spirit, right? Let's put pet attack here as well. Put on the motors. I forgot to equip amulet. I don't even have the amulet did. Should know that. We speak at last. Wait, 10% spill? What the hell? Yo, bot flying, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You meant metal? Oh, yeah. You're actually right about that. Actually, not wrong. Okay, let's go back to crossing. <laughs> Moan Tarcha. Yo, amazing Loki, work one as well. Alright, so we got the crystals, right? And scrap in advance, so we can just like get this course as well. Put on these two now. Put on this belt as well, right? I don't think I'm gonna like need yellows even. Probably not, right? On these two actually as well. Um, let's drop this and pick it up again so that we can talk to this guy. Let him explain himself, then you don't have to like kill him at all. Right? Uh, with this one, we can't do. But we can do this one up here, and then we're like level 32, right? Or like 33, rather. 33, we're done here with ultimate. Let's go to elite to start devotion hopping, right? Yeah, and the elite, I think I'm also gonna like get the smith threat. I need the smith for. I think I 100% need the smith for the. What's it called? The components of my local set. It's gonna take a few decades to level. With Mortal Trap? Nah, come on, this late. Not even that bad, man. Mortal Trap isn't that bad. Let's just max out all the things here, right? Let's just go all in with Mortal Trap, why not? Um, yeah, let's just take this too as well. You're not looking to the butt. You will Alright. Wait, why am I going elite? What the fuck? I need to go to normal. <laughs> what am I doing? Hello. Oops. That was close, actually. I didn't use the XP portal list. That was actually pretty close. Alright, let's get devotions. Anybody made an experiment how many levels you will get if you read all notes? I don't know. And I certainly haven't. Oh, let's remove this one here. And I need like a... Like a melee weapon on it.
Luigi. He got two shot by the mortar. Nice. Can you put Lord Nord and Stash? I think you can actually, yeah. Is there a game to hate on? Oh, not in shared. Oh, you can't. Dang. Alright, so what do we play here? I mean, obviously we play 2 points Jackal, first of all. And then we play something like... I mean, I want to play Acid later, right? I mean, if you're playing Fire, then obviously you would like to go for like Witchblade, like Solar's Witchblade, right? And Elemental Storm maybe as well. But I think I'm just gonna like go for Manticore for like Flat RR and like skip the Elemental Storm because I do want to like play Acid later on anyway. And I will need Manticore for later for Acid, I think. If I'm not mistaken, let's see here actually real quick. Mind's Desire, welcome on, just wanted to buy the game and the price went up from $6 to $25 today, timing eh? <laughs> well, it feels bad man. I mean, if you are gonna buy the full price anyway, you could like still buy it on my store and support me as well. Hashtag shameless self, 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 self advertisement, there we go. Can't even talk. But I mean, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, my personal opinion, the game is like worth the full price. Um, but I'd be free to disagree on it. Actually, looking at this, I don't even have Manticore. Wait, how do I get my flat shred? Do I just not have it, or...? Do I just not have flat shred? Maybe I don't have flat shred on this build. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I guess I don't have it. But that's kind of bad, right? To not have it. Oh wait, oh wait! I have, I have it on scales. Never mind. Okay, I have it on scales. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder if we can like fit in the scales as well somehow. I mean, yeah, we're not gonna level with this, it's gonna be very bad for leveling. And we could use Dryad. Could maybe like play Dryad. But other than that, I certainly need to play like Fire Devotions for leveling. Otherwise, I will deal like no damage, so. Use Blow Drig modifiers to convert it to oh, hello. How much is it? It's 45%, right? On the amulet that you can get like this early. Why is it there? Why not? Because of retaliation. Because acid retail is pretty easy to build and it didn't get nerfed, unlike physical retail. Like, first retail got nerfed, right? This one, like, acid didn't. Really. So, yeah, that's basically why. Okay. 
can get the pistols and seven levels. True. True, 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 true. Wait, does it also have the same conversion as the amulet? I kind of forgot. I know it has conversion, but like, is it the same 45%? Yes. So you would have like 90% conversion then. Like, we could legit play as like acid. <laughs> acid motor trap then? Are you, that's what you're saying? I mean, we we should then, right? Then I think we actually should. Where am I going here? That's the wrong place. Do it. Am I mean, I'm gonna do Acid Return Breaker? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's gonna be a very weird build, but I think it actually doesn't even look that bad on paper. And it's basically gonna play like an Acid Bomberman. But the buffer retaliation damage is done. It's not about it's not about like the playing the strongest thing. I don't care about it. I just want to play grenades and do retaliation damage with grenades. And why do I want to do that? Because it was one of those um, make me a make me a build requests. Something like requested acid retaliation. Like in yeah, acid granado, right? Just acid granado. I mean, the only way you can play it is retaliation. Then I made the build ah, around re acid retaliation, in other right? And it actually didn't even look that bad on paper, so I said back then I want to play it at some point, and I think now's the time. So yeah, we're doing acid retaliation, Granada. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty scuffed, but it doesn't look that bad at least. On paper. Yo, Raider Rich, welcome, welcome. But I mean, to answer your question, is it stronger than Sentinel? Probably not when it comes to damage, but I mean, with grenades, right, you can still kite. Like, I know kiting and retaliation build is like not the most intuitive thing, but... I mean, why not run it? You got grenades, you got the shield, the age of ages of men here as well. You got everything that can count, basically. Okay, let's go down to the setter here as well. As a warlord, but also way better than warlord retaliation. For leveling, yes. For endgame. Generally speaking, no, but retaliation is more like um how do you say that? It's more gear dependent. So like if you have bad gear for retaliation, then false way is gonna be better. If you have good retaliation gear, then retaliation is better. Yeah, but basically basically like depends on what kind of items you have. I mean also there are like quite some items that do support false wave level I mean, even for endgame, right? Like false wave is not a I mean this game in general that doesn't really have any skill that's like not supportive for endgame. Like some skills are better for leveling, yes, but you can like still play them for endgame even. If you like get the right items that like support the skills properly. Right? Yeah, for KOA Reddit video guy. I mean you can kill Kalagadra with Force Wave as well if you want to. I mean, if you have the gear for it, right? Is it better than Retaliation? No. Can you still clear all the content? Yes, you can. Am I using a graphical mod? No, I'm not using anything. This is standard game. I mean, I have everything like set to high basically. But other than that, it's just the game. In all its beauty. When Grim Yawn 4K stream? <laughs> Imagine streaming in 4K in freaking with freaking German internet, right? Good luck with that. I don't even have a 4K monitor. Uh, 
Alright, we did this, did this right? Um, devotions. Okay, so... Assuming we can get... So we need Terrox offhand, right? Then we need a pistol. And then we need... Uh, yeah, I don't even have... Uh, I have a 1080p as well. Um, then we need... What's it called? Like the pistol, the necklace, and Turnox offhand, right? So, um, I mean, then I actually want to go for Murmur, right? So we take Jackal, right? Then we take, like, Satyr's Guide. Or something like that. Oh, there's where's the... Uh, where's the bullet gun? I don't want to use this later on. Really? I mean, oh, whatever. It's like too good for leveling though. Too good for leveling. Does weapon damage from Blind Fury, or Blind Devotion, apply when bound to blade spirits? Yes. It will still take your weapon's weapon damage. Four K three frames at a time, yeah. Basically that. Seems good on it. You play Grim Donovan in four K, it looks nice though. I mean you have a four K monitor now, yeah. How do you enjoy it but like how do you like it by the way? Was it worth the monies? Very worth. Watching movies in 4K is Kriegers, isn't it? Nice. But if we play Asset though, we... Ah, oh, it's gonna be so scuffed though. It's still gonna be so scuffed. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. And we can't use the Turnox main hand, right? The scepter. It's gonna be like the weirdest speed leveling ever. Acid, Mortar, and Guardian, so shit. And so far it's obviously finer, but... We can actually get to the other things, like the other weapons, then. And it would be efficient when it comes to leveling devotions there. At least. At least not. The PC would have been bigger regret. <laughs> I mean it would have would have been like a slight overkill, yeah. Play low on 1080p for competitive things and RPGs in 4K, nice. Yeah. That sounds good. I mean, a two monitor setup is just. Like, it's so good, dude, compared to one monitor only. I, mean, I don't know about three or four monitors. That might be. I mean, it's, for some people, it's actually good. Like, also when you're streaming, it wouldn't be that bad to have like three, maybe. But. Like in general, two monitors are like so much better than one. It's crazy. 
even when you're like not even streaming, just like just when you're playing and like you wanna I don't know, like watch something else at the same time or something like that. Alright, it's really nice. Alright, um Dead Man's Gulch, next one. Don't die to action. Wait, who's Akshon again? Oh, the new old jump? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting flamed for resetting the... Or like resurrecting, rather, the entire enemy team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, that skill alone... Doesn't even like feel that busted, but like he has everything, right? I don't know. The freaking tar Tarzan swing, um, the resurrection stealth, another dash, like lock on ultimate. What the fuck? I don't know, it's gonna be weird. Yeah, yeah, like the W is not even that good compared to like his other skills, I think. Like the W is not even that bad. It's it's a uh, it's kind of like a win more mechanic. Like say you, yeah, it's kind of a win more mechanic to be honest. In a way, the Lord champs cost money to get. You can get them with either real money or in-game currency, which you like just get from like playing games. Or you can also like get them from like in-game loot boxes that you can also like either buy with real money or like just get from like playing the game. And you can like literally get everything in LOL just from like playing the game if you just like play enough. Like nothing, you don't have to like buy anything in LOL, I mean. It took you 8 years playing for free to get all jumps? Not. I mean, it took me like 2 years but I played I think way more than you. At least, like, the first two to three years I played, like, so much, it was insane. Like, I literally only played that game and nothing else. Yeah, I, I had, like, so much IP left. Like the in game currency left after like getting all champions, that I could like still not play for like another three years or two years and still have like all the new champs. But now I don't have them any like all of them anymore. But back then, like up to like one or two years ago, I could like still buy all the champions if I wanted to. Because I just played too much beforehand. Did I buy Earthquake from Blue Sun's Emporium? Wait, when, when could you do that? I might have missed that one actually. Retail Shield Breaker? Yeah, that's the idea. It's, um. It has. Like, the origin of this build was a make me a build request by a viewer. And, uh. The request was just to, like, make an acid Granado build. And at first I was like, what the fuck is that gonna be? Like, that's gonna be horrible, right? But then I remembered that when in doubt, just retail out, right? Mm, so yeah, I mean, I don't think it's even that bad, maybe. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on paper. I don't know, I've ne never seen a build like this though, so I can't really like... Uh, ...tell you like how good it's actually gonna be in the game or not. Like how good a buy that's gonna be in the game. Ah. We speak at last. 4k armor, but 2.7k, I mean, 27% uh, Fizzleness. Yeah, but like, you don't need Fizzleness really. I know it's retail, but like, all the skills that you're playing, you don't need to get hit, right? Like, you don't need to face tank. I mean, you can if you, if you want to, but you don't have to. Yo, Winston. Winston's Waffles, Workman, Workman. Thanks for the photo. Yeah, it's basically a major. It's maybe basically like another bomber round, but like a little bit tankier and has a shield and dealing like retaliation damage and stuff. But like it has so many like retaliation damage skills that it can like rotate between. Right? You have the grenades, you have canister bomb, you have the 
um, like active ability from the helmet, right? And then you got ages of ages of men here, and you got retribution as like a filler, and your range, so like you can actually like shoot as well, like you can actually use retribution as well. It's it's gonna be a piano bell, of course. What else? Right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, like retaliation piano. Does pet attack target the mortar? Yes. And mortar is... It's a player scaled. Like this one scales with viewer bonuses, not with like pet bonuses. But it's still like technically a pet, right? It's just like a, pay a player scaled pet. So you can direct it with pet attack. Same thing with thermite mines actually, like even if they're stationary. Um, for example, like if you put thermite mines down around target dummy, then the thermite mines won't proc devotions that are attached to it. When you attack the tar like when you put it at the thermite, I mean at the target dummy, right? So you would have to like use pet attack to like actually make the thermite mines proc the devotion attached to them. You like wanna, for example, kill the target dummy to like check the defense, right? Actually, had pet. I mean, a fake pet, just like guardians. Like you're playing the double fake pet build here in a second. Once we get the guardians. Welcome on, you recently got Sherzo's weapon, Mr. Opinion. Um, any tips for builds? You can play Commander, yeah. Commander's probably like the most iconic build you can do with that button. Right? Like basically play just a set, Sherzo's World Eater. Fire Force Wave, for example. I mean, there are other things you can do with the weapon as well. But, um, I think the Force Wave command is like the most iconic and probably also like the best thing you can do with any weapon. Oh, you can also play a Warlord. It does also work, but. I don't know. Or like a Shield Breaker as well. But I think both are. I don't know. Probably like a little bit weaker than the Commando. In that specific case, at least. Alright, let's get some greens. And this. And then we go for Murmur. Because we're gonna even level with Acid, apparently. Yo, still a drink? Welcome, welcome. How do you request a build? Um, it's like via the channel points, right? If you have, I think, 16,000 channel points, you can like request me to like make a build from scratch on screen, like on stream. Wait, are they disabled right now or? No, they're not right. Uh, 16,180. And you can also like um, make a build yourself and then like post it, and then I'm just like optimizing it for uh, 1337. It's a little bit cheaper. You're welcome, you're welcome. Wasting my time with totems, what the fuck? What am I doing? 
Do I have a infiltrator aura build? Uh, no, I don't. I have a, like an aura paladin build, and I made like a Pierce uh, Phantasma Blades infiltrator caster, but no aura build now. Tief Nils. Alright, we just want the totem, I mean the shrine, right? We don't care about Zarya here. <coughs> you saw an old one just walking, killing stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Infiltrator can be used as a pretty nice aura bot as well. I can see that. Garden is still so far away, dude. Holy shit. Um... I mean, I didn't do Forgotten Gods yet, right? Forgotten Gods gives you like 8 or something like that, I think. It's actually insane. Has have to use 3 Fate Weaver chest, pants, and shoulders. Alright. Do you mind? Do you mind uh, if we wait with that until. I'm done speedloading for the day. Like, I'm gonna obviously stop at like around 70 as always. Faith build. Faith build pants. Yeah. And the chest is always like very good. Shoulders are like. Alright. But most of the time, I'll shine by other stuff. I think the shoulders are like the worst part though, right? Uh, the pants are probably better than shoulders even. You got the rest of the evening? Okay, nice. <laughs> Wait, who said I can go acid with Blood of Drig? And why did I think that works? It doesn't work. Because we're not using Blood of Drig. Like, we're not an Oculus. Right? We're not a Sentinel. We're not a Pyromancer. I got too baited. Fuck. Yeah, we have to level as fire, right? We can't do that. Can't actually do it. Uh, the dream is dead. My acid devotions are dead. My title is a debate. Yeah, we, we have to level as fire with fire devotions and like do a complete change later. Like we can't, we can't like 
do acid shenanigans while leveling. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Would have been cool though. Would have been actually cool. Will Fissure ASAP? Fissure? Fissure? Yeah. It's pretty good after all. No acid shenanigans. Feels bad, man. It makes the bird easier to farm though. Like easier to set up the monster tree constraint. Because you only need to farm turns now. <clears throat> Instead of like farming the gun as well as the aimlet as well. Two more here in the current sounds. And then what? Then we just farm Terrox, right? Basically. By the way, how's your physical fanatic coming along? Ground Zero. I saw you going live. Yesterday night as well, but I mean, I, I saw you went live like ah, tomorrow, like today in the morning. At last. Your mutant seventy nine. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's already ninety four. Holy moly! But you didn't, you didn't level as physical, did you? Does it have 2k? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to like reload your devotions again. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, that's something I would have to do as well on this character once we're like 94. Oh well. Since we can't really like level with answer after all. to damage <laughs> how's zero dps motors dude motors aren't zero dps they're not that bad like look at this one shot right So one shot trash of Panetti is crutting? I mean, yeah. What? Too, too far. Too far, dude. Way too far. Zooming too far.
people with weapon attack is gonna have more DPS. I mean, if you put mortar here, right, it's gonna show you literally zero DPS. Alright, so it's. I guess it's zero DPS, right? It has to be, right? Like, sheet DPS never lies. It has to be zero DPS. Yo, Henry Carr, welcome, welcome. Do you think you can face and cut up with 70% for the rest but only 2k armor? Yeah. Um, should be able to. You might have to like kite a bit whenever he has like the eye debuff on you, right? But other than that, you should be able to face tank. But I mean, it also depends like how much last you have, right? Like, it depends on the last year. Like, Ravager does have life leech resistance, right? So you don't last it as much against them. You always have to keep that in mind, right? Imagine wasting time with total strength, what am I doing? Corkwack's name. Corkwack. I mean Max Seal does help you against like his bleeding dot. At least it does have against that, right? <laughs> it's barely critting. Wait, what are you playing? Templar, right? Templar should have like very good away though, right? Doesn't Templar get like so much free away? Like on Prince of Virtue as well as the like two Arcanus skills? Oh my god dude. I'm dying here. What is this? I missed the entrance. Like a Pega. I could switch to Acid at level 82 with Dega sets, uh Nah, I might as well just like go to not for them. But yeah, in theory I could. You're right, you're right. I could actually. Okay, we got all the things here. Let's go and go to Nox. Let's switch to retail once you get 55 devotions. But, like, you don't do damage then, right? And you can, like, switch to retaliation devotions. But then, if you don't play retaliation yourself, then you're not doing damage either. 
And if you're like switching both skills as well as devotions to Rita, then I don't know. You also don't have any damage, right? Like literally Oh my god. Literally all the damage that I will have for retail is gonna come from gear and all the gears are 94, so I would have z literally zero DPS going for like retaliation outside without my gear. Alright, we got the scepter, we just need the offhand now. Um let's get like two more shrines though, like one in Bear Home. But you like roleplaying? I mean yeah. I like uh I do like role playing as well, but I don't like role playing as like a zero DPS build. We have a blocker set more cards, yeah. Like for speed leveling, retaliation is just bad. It's way better when you do like solo set on compared to. Like then it's actually okay because you can use stuff like Perdition set, right? You can get like at actual good armor while leveling even. But with low card, you kinda can't do it. Mob check. All right, let's get this one as well here. Perdition with Aegis Rata is okay. Yeah, exactly. Like that's that's okay for level nine. It's not too bad. I need to fix my devotions. They're like omega bad right now. Damage is fine, Copium. It's fine. Now I don't have a single devotion yet, like a single active devotion that deals like fire damage. So there's obviously damage missing there. Alright, time to reset and reform Turnox. Craft components for Roker set. And what else? Ah, oh, yeah, such devotions, right? We might have to like farm Turnox a couple of times here, though. Like, I mean, I got the weapon, like the scepter of this already. But we need the offhand as well. Oops. And we need the specific offhand giving us like bonuses to mod trip. Like he has two different ones that he can drop. And neither has a 100% chance anyway. So this might like take some runs. I think he now has another scepter again. The same scepter, but I'm not sure about the offhand. I don't really see the offhand. I don't think he has it. Is fine, yeah. And yeah, another authority. Yo, fit it also. What does it say? Welcome, welcome. Maybe I just like remove everything and like rush guardians, right? Like, how much do I need for guardians? 27 points. Okay, never mind. It's 20 points, right? Unless we get rid of the big one. We could get rid of the big one, right? Let's actually do that. Did you miss Purify Ravager attempt? No, you didn't miss it yet. I didn't do it yet. But I just want to level this. I don't know. I just felt like leveling today. And I was gonna do this anyway. Soon. So might as well do it now. 
What do you want? <laughs> will purifier get purified? I mean, will Ravager get purified or purifier get ravaged? Next time on DBC. Yeah, basically. Okay, so the acid idea also didn't work, right? Uh, we gotta scrap it. Scrap it. What else? How do I heal? Dry, right? But I also need torch. Do I just take viper? can take Quill and Hawk and then Crown, right? Quill, Hawk, Crown. Uh... Yeah, that's a lot. And here let's try pulling the big one. Right? Let's just pull this. Maybe just like pull through mud mounds as well and like uh, the Vindictive well. Flame. Actually, I do want the movement speed. The problem with le like leveling with Guardians is that. Dude, why are these not plates of corrosion and not plates of frost? What the fuck? How are they not fire damage? Nani? Actually, I should play Endurance Relic. That's the wrong one. But we got a Searing of Scorching at least. This one is legit. This one is good. And then we, yeah, we have to like farm again for the sh for the offhand. Like we can't, we can't play this without the offhand. Literally doesn't work. Only 27 points. <laughs> it's not that many. <clears throat> Nice offhand. I need seven more points, right, for guardians. Chat, which item gives me like plus skills to guardians? I need three guardians, right? Found. Yeah. 
What is the ideal skill disruption protection for our Reckoning Boats? I mean, you can't go higher than 80%. I mean, ideal would be 100%, but that doesn't exist. And your crab turtle, welcome, in, welcome. In. The meme build is happening. The meme build is happening. We got it, nice. Okay, 400 spirit though, holy shit. Wait, 400 spirit? Yikes. <laughs> okay, whoops. Um, I guess we gotta use a potion for that. Well, right, good thing I have like so many of these mana away, but. Another purifier rip? No. Legit didn't rip. Legit did not rip so far. Switching up the stuff here. Um, endurance? Do I have endurance relic? I don't. I gotta craft it. Can't rip if you don't play it. <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. Endurance relic needs. Fervor, Fortitude, Equilibrium, Shell, Salt. F, F, E, Shell, Salt. F, F, E, Salt, Shell. That's Shell. Okay, Endurance gives us plus one Oathkeeper and 5% Fizzle Rust in this case. Pretty good. Oathkeeper belt, right? Drig, Venom Sky, Bind. What? Wait, isn't there like a lower level version belt that you can get? Oathkeepers as well? Apart from like the gargoyle girdle, which I don't really want to go for. Chat type your favorite hentai. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you what, mate? Actually, no, there's no other except for the gargoyle girdle. So we could, we could like make a chosen cord, I guess. Chosen cord. There's a little 50 one there. There we go, there's one. Chosen of Scorching. Oh, that's lots of fire damage, but we're gonna lose so much acid. Um, but like, we were using this one for poison rest on the other guy as well, right? Might as well use it again here. It wasn't the worst one actually to level up. Not that bad for leveling. Not bad at all. Alright, what kind of amulet do we use though? Amulet, right. Let's use this one. I actually need 400 spirit. It's kind of scuffed, but oh well. 
Okay. Now we do what? We just get like two flints and that's it, right? Actually, no, that's not it yet. I need to figure out how I get plus skills to guardians. Like, which items give me plus skills to guardians, right? Dead chat for dead game. Guardian of Sympurion. This one is plus three. I mean, you can't use it. Nothing. There's nothing. Blacia girdle level eighty-two. Wow. Wow. You can't. You can't get three. You gotta play this. Ah, we speak at last. This one is plus four. You're kidding me. Level seventy. Seal of Basti. Bulbar's pendant. Just plus one all skills. Yikes. Yo, P11 Seltruk. Welcome on, thanks for the follow. Where do the outfit packs I bought for the game come from? You mean like the. The loyalist packages? Uh, there are two guys over here, right? Corey the Keeper and Lancel the Knight. You go in here and like talk to these guys and they like get the illusions, right? Like this one for example, and you right click them, right? Then you have gained the illusion, and you can go to the illusionist, and you can like equip them, right? Like the powdered wig or whatever, right? Or the knight. Basically that's how it works, right? But uh, you gotta talk to these guys in-game, and then like... Get all their like um, illusions and like right click all of them. I'm still waiting. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The custom pack DLC, um, outfit packs. That's what you get here. The two loyalist packs. I mean, you you buy them on Steam, and then once you have bought them, you talk to these two guys in the game, and they give you the illusions. That you can then like use at the illusionist for your kite. That's uh, exactly what I just showed you. Yeah, like, you buy them on Steam, right? You have bought them on Steam, you have done that. Then you just log into the game, go in game, right? And then talk to these guys here. They don't spawn if you have if you don't have the dealer seals, right? If you don't have them, then they don't spawn. But if you have them, they will stand there, and you talk to them, get their all, like, all of their illusions, and then talk to the illusionist, and then, like, apply the stuff. Alright, um, should push for the Celeste presence of Link before anything else. Probably, and so not. Alright, let's go to Elite as well. We're done here. Being awake is so disappointing. It's still about to like to buy a third set, yeah. I mean, they said they're gonna make a third one like two years ago, but they still haven't done it. I don't know. Buy the game again. Uh, 
and again and again and again. Just buy more games. Just buy the same game more often. Buy a refund and repeat. <laughs> imagine refunding. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> uh, imagine refunding supporter packs. Like loyalist packs. Like why, why even buy them in the first place? Then? Just Naomi were entire too. You refunded it. <laughs> you just Naomi did. Mm. Missed the funny clip? Well did I? You wanna relink it? I guess I missed it. Could plunk on obese people? Dude, it's like being toxic again. Feelings? Yeah. Fat people have feelings? Yeah. He's just being toxic again. <laughs> what do you expect? Fat people have feelings? Yeah. And they eat, they eat their feelings away. <laughs> That's why they're fat. Oh my god, dude. Mm, cake is so good. Mm, I feel better. <laughs> Fat people have feelings. <laughs> that you are though. That game though. Imagine playing W Omega Lord W, right? <laughs> Where are your blooms? Watching. What? Did you lose your blooms? Did you forget to pick them up today? We get to go to the flower field and pick up your blooms. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV as we speak. Yeah, I mean, lots of people are right now. Instead of wow, right? You couldn't click the button when you were sleeping. He's bad, man. Oh, we didn't put the things here, right? Oops. I should also make a link here for YouTube and for you guys in chat right now as well. Wait, why does it not show the flint color? Because I just put them on right now. I mean, the enchanted flints rather. The hell? Wait, you, you can't put flint offhand, right? Also, why the fuck did I get the necromasters of the void? Did it so bad. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, level 42 leveling, right? There we go. Is that a timeout, timeout clip? Is there a small chance that we will release a third expansion? Ah, uh, no. There is no, no chance. Zero percent chance. I mean, apparently Xanta was working on something that could have been basically like a DLC. 
like not an expansion, but something more like Crucible in a way, like another alternative game mode. But apparently that idea also got scrapped. Because of like like he wanted to do like a low effort kind of DLC. But then like when he was like starting to do it, he noticed that like it would have become like way too much effort. And then they just scrapped it because they didn't wanna like do any like high effort projects for Grimdon 1 anymore. Like if anything rather like start working on Grimdon 2, right? Xbox still happening though, yeah yeah. Xbox port is happening. It's basically finished already, like it has to go through certification again though, I think. Like for the I don't know how many times already it has went through that, but I don't know. It's a little scuffed for some reason. But it's happening, yeah. It's basically done. And it's already done. It's just fading certification for some reason. Oh hello, Oh fuck. Oh hello. Crossplay, yep. Yeah. I don't know. No idea about crossplay or not. I mean they don't they don't even have servers, right? Microsoft probably wants more MTX. <laughs> not enough MTX for 2020. Hey, I mean Move along. Could actually be the case, huh? Not enough MTX. Said, don't clip that, Adios. You naughty boy. I mean, yeah, I told you to clip that at least. That's one of the best clips though, not gonna lie. Alright, more devotion points to assign. More devotion points to assign. Let's assign them to this, right? That seems good. I feel like there might be a human on this planet. If you don't tell him to not poop his pants, he'll just do it. Just to be edgy. I mean, maybe. What the fuck? Answer the she breaker with dark sorcery is this? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Once it's ready at least. While leveling it's gonna be just fire because you can't level as acid on Shebreaker, you really can't. There's like no item support for while leveling. Mm, I almost got debated by like thinking that the Battle Dreek conversion works on a Shebreaker, but obviously it doesn't work on a Shebreaker because you don't have Battle Dreek. But I mean, if it would have worked, then we could have. Leveled it as acid, even right? It was like converting for addictive flame, for example, as well. But uh, it's gonna be like very lazy leveling there, right? Like we just run around in circles like all the time, basically. I don't know. This is like more interesting than watching me level back out the cocktail. I mean, Blackwater Cocktail is also like me running around in circles while like throwing cocktails, right? It's not even that much different, right? 
Control your camera with the keyboard or mouse. I do it with the mouse, like middle mouse button, like the mouse wheel. Basically, like I press down my mouse wheel and then like I can do this right. Favorite mastery. I've played this game too much to have a favorite mastery to be honest. I just like all of them. It's like when you start the game, you don't know all the masteries. Then like when you've spent some time into the game, then you like have favorite masteries. I mean, for me, like, those favorite masteries were something like, I would say Nightblade and Ocutus for, like, a very long time. Nightblade Ocutus, and then I started liking Demolitionist a lot as well. And then at some point you just, like, have played all the classes so many times that you're like, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> This favorite mastery? Probably Soldier, because it's just kind of boring. But it's strong, like, Soldier is very strong. Boring and strong. 65 Aceras. Gotta fix that. Also, 59 Aceras. Mocha. Uh, what the hell? Stop charging me, please, Flash Hulk. Soldiers, three out of five of your belts. Nice. Remember this. Oh, what's that? What's your bait is that? Depending on like where you have more you points. I mean, depending on like where. I do remember, yeah. Good clip. Good clip for sure. I remember. Yo, hello Mark, Wokman, Wokman. <laughs> five bells, those are rook numbers? No, it's five alive. How many dead then? Um, we killed the guy as well, right? Yeah, I mean, we're doing a late tournament. Dude, my brain is kind of AFK today. Of course, was a kill creek during a late. I'm like, what am I doing? Gotta do all the costs. Also, find the caravan driver, maybe. One die to Queen, one to Sharzul, I mean, it's, that's not too bad to like die to those two. There's no shame in like dying to Sharzul or Queen, especially like on Solo Set Hunt. I mean, I've, I've literally died to both of them as well. Um, once each. Once each, yeah. Do you have zero deaths on this game? Yeah. Also zero crit kills.
good, you're back. Yo, hello gaming. Welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for the reset. How are you doing, man? Thanks so much for your continued support. How are you doing, man? She got zero deaths in Grim Dawn because she doesn't count the deaths. Yeah, that's right. All oh, the dead characters are deleted so they don't count anymore. <laughs> Five at play. Hello, good evening to you as well. The dust cost as well. You have zero characters right now, so all of them died. Oh fuck, I didn't do this quest, what the heck? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot to go from here, like the right side. I also forgot to commit my heart done, right? Hooray! I forgot so many quests, what the fuck? <laughs> you got debated by my potato pussy. To be honest, that link is not even that accurate anymore, right? Like, I did upgrade my GPU and CPU recently. Well, like before the upgrade, I was basically my PC looked like that. What did we level with again the last time? Rune of Color Store, right? The Rune of Color Store leveling was actually so much fun, I really liked it. But I mean, you can't do it here, of course. You can't do it here. Wow. New clip from today, wow. Good news, you defeated Loker for the first time, bad news. On your fourth Loker attempt, he killed your hardcore tr trickster. Dang. I hope at least you stash the... I mean, if you don't have like all four pieces, then it's kinda... Mm, not even that useful, right? And congrats on killing him. That's an achievement, at least. But the yeah, F for not getting the full set before dying. I mean, the thing with Lokar is, some people say like, yeah, Lokar is so easy, dude, like, he does no damage. But then, like, you fight him the one time when he has, like, a double physical affix weapon, especially like a hammer, and then you're like, <laughs> wait, why does he do so much damage? The weapon that he wields just like brings so much RNG to the fight. It's a little tricky sometimes. Earth Bond of Fury, yeah. Hit you four with 16k out of nowhere, yeah. Probably like something like Earth Bond of Fury then or something. Yeah. Must have been like a crazy weapon for sure. I would say. Alright, we kill. Out, huh? Good. What a few that's good there, Warden. Yeah, we could warden now, right? Um Points into Thermot Monogon, I guess, yeah. And here we put points into To what? Should we have a messenger of war? I'm kind of level two, right? We could also 
Ah, like the, the thing is, Viper alone is not enough, right? We need something like Viper and maybe Fiend on top. But like, how do you proc Fiend? I guess we just like play Wayward Soul then. Just play the Soul and Viper, right? Play Soul and Viper. For leveling. I think that's not too bad. Can I play something similar to the Purifier? Right? Blueprint farming so painful, uh, yeah. So we got this, and then we go for the Viper, then we can take the torch. Okay, that's the plan. Sounds like a decent plan. Yo Lucas, welcome home. Uh, pure fire is... nah, I just didn't feel like doing hard content today, but rather like speed leveling. I mean, pure fire still has to do... Like actually, pure fire still hasn't done Bastion of Chaos. <laughs> like, I didn't do Bastion of Chaos, I didn't do Pot Vibri, and I didn't do... Milk Jogan and then I didn't do Rayo right? and also I didn't do Crate or Karagadra of course either. Um, I'm not sure about the last, last two but I'm gonna certainly do Milk Jogan and Ravager. Probably do like BOC or Prod Library like as a warm up for the Milk Jogan. Then kill Milk Jogan and then like try Ravager as well. And also like Shadow Realm like 65 to 66 at least. I also still haven't done that one. Speed leveling? What do you mean? What do you mean? A quick, okay. Switch to conviction. Was this Ravager in there? Nah. You mean for the Fizzerness? I mean, we have a 20. We have 21 points order of sense here. Like, it's damage reduction and resistance, resistance shred, right? It's not that bad. I don't think Conviction is better. I mean, the first damage is obviously like very good. It's not even 18%, it's 21% damage reduction on all resistance here. Like at 21 points, I think. But I mean, the physical resistance would go up from like, what, 40% to 55%? So that would be 45% damage taken instead of 60% damage taken, so that's like what? A decrease of... How much? Wait, what is one of the options? Like, no way I'm gonna follow a stranger through a rift. <laughs> Don't take candies from strangers. Um... So yeah, from 60% to 45% damage taken, that's a 25% damage decrease, right? Yeah. Which is, which is more than the 21% of our sense here, at least for physical. It's actually more, right? Uh, it's Ravager of Flash. I'm not doing it today, though. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I kind of started late today, so I don't know if I'm gonna stream like that long. But maybe I'm gonna stream tomorrow as well. 
Prima Power has to percent damage reduction with all the sense here. Yeah, I mean, there are other sources. I mean, I got like. Um, what's it called? Uzun's Wrath as well, but Uzun's Wrath is like. It doesn't work against Ravager. Like, it has, I think, like 18% or something like that on my build, but. It doesn't work against Ravager, actually. But yeah, the thing is, like, with his resistance reduction, right? Like, if you take his resistance reduction into account, right, then... Actually, the damage reduction of our sensor is, like, more, like, better than the Fizzrest again, right? Like, how much does it reduce on default attacks again? It's, like, 35 on default attacks or something like that, or, like... 20 or 30, I don't know. Yo, Red and Wokman, Wokman. I think I'll handle it though. If I don't misplay, then I think I can easily handle it, yeah. Like, you can just kite whenever he has the eye debuff on you, and I think the character should be like. Tank enough to face tank without the ID buff front. ID buff might be scary though, like. Actually, oops. Wrong choice. 24, 25% uh, default. Like 25 flat default, right? Yeah, so. Basically, you would. You have 15. You would have 13 instead of 15, right? 13 instead of 15 means 85, I mean 70 instead of 85, which is, I don't know, how much is that? Like 18% or 19%, 20%? Music, huh? Our sensor is free, 5% physical, so very much. Now I don't fall anymore. Oh my god, dude. This guy, too much damage. Balthazar. That's three to temper. But no resistances, right? Not a single piece of resistance on this thing. Unlucky. Mazahar. <laughs> yeah. Nicholas. Nicolas Bazaar. Nicolas Bazaar. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. That's the name. Acid Granada, right? That's what we're gonna play later. If the character survives. Play Wilson if rip. Uh, I don't even have it installed though. You can play last epoch if rip. But not Wilson. We can play Sekiro if rip. But 
I'm gonna rip in Sekiro like a lot as well. Yeah, Sekiro's good. I have like only played it for like two hours so far or something like that though. Like, I don't know. Another four. I mean, I did, I did get it on the summer sale. Am I good at those games, like Sekiro? Uh no. I mean, I'm like good enough to like not be hard stuck. And then like, some people are like hard stuck in Dark Souls, right? I'm not that bad at them, but I wouldn't say I'm good at them either. I didn't play them enough. Hardcore, yeah. Hardcore into the first boss and then like rinse and repeat. <laughs> Hard stuck at the first boss on uh, on hardcore. I mean, Sekiro is so weird though. Like, if you do hardcore run, right? Then, like, you have this resurrect feature as well. That's so weird, dude. Like, does it count for hardcore run to get resurrected? I didn't play Neo yet. <laughs> Weep Souls? Dude, I love how like, everybody is talking Japanese all the time in that game. I love it. Nanimono Dama. Well, you worked here. We have to hit them hard. Hit them hard. Alright, nice. Imagine being part Japanese. Imagine it. Um, nope, here it is. Don't need it. Neo 1 is legit the best game you've ever played in the RPG slash Dark Souls genre. The best ever, eh? Interesting. Uh, let's just drop this here and then I pick it up again and then like bring it. There we go. Friendly, feels good, man. Depth compared to Dark Souls, proper item slash level progression. Right. I mean, Dark Souls crafting is a like progression of your characters. I mean, it's it's there, it's okay, it's cool, but it's not like. And you also don't need it, right? Like, you can literally just like beat the game with. Like, you just need to like kill the one Black Knight guy and then like get the Hubbard and then you're like beating the game, right? Come. Can you kill the Forge, please? Like, what are you doing? Thank you. Every weapon type has its own skill tree. Dang. It's almost like Last Epoch. Ah, uh, level 50, right? I should just get the other amulet to like fix my resistance and I was like what am I doing here? I gotta fix my res. 
And what you can use for fixing Russ is... When in doubt, the... Avarice... How do you want that? Avarice... Oh, that's what this thing here. Avarice of Andreonios. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Hey, why does it despawn my guardians? The heck? That's weird. Could also play this, right? But I would need more elemental rust. Like actually way more. One shot. Got like none. I mean I could use a ward stone here and then what? I mean different glass, right? These only have Fizzrus. I mean, Fizzrus is still good, but. Uh, huh. Leveling Omega Lol. Looking at items for 10 years leveling. Um, and let's put just corpse dust here for now. The Aetheris is so bad now though, like holy shit, why is it so bad? I mean, whatever, we're not gonna die on it. We're not gonna die, I think. Just check the Black Knight movie on IMD. B, it has only 9.4 out of 10, what the fuck? Damn it. That's scuffed. Perhaps. <laughs> Toxic. Toxic mods. Where is Nedia today, by the way? Fuck. It was like earlier online. Right? Like online earlier. But now it's not. Did I click on this earlier? Purple wow. <laughs> wow. Maybe Ninja sleeping? Did he not sleep at night again or not? These clips are the worst resident sleeper. <laughs> they don't like Ground Zero resubbing to Carplank. Toxic. I didn't get wrecked by Insomnia, dang. Feels bad, man. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious?
Reserving to people who play that game. Wow. Wow. Who's being toxic now, dude? Fuck. 13 and 5, right? That's the sweet, sweet spots for these two. Don't need more than that. He didn't say wow, but sure, wow also counts. Yeah, dead game as well, I guess. Basically. What about pure Mega Level E, right? Uh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, since there's another season coming out, like what next year, next week, in two weeks, in two weeks, right? I lost to FF14. Super dead. Pure is super dead. What? I mean, I don't see any streamer play it, that's true. Exactly two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oath Keeper. Uh, maybe like use the exclusive, hello. Hello. Wreck by exclusive. Wreck by despawned guardians. Fuck you too, Red on shit. Jet is bullying so hard today, holy shit. Holy shit, right. Alright, um, let's go to Gulch. Well, if I had I came upon these weapons. Uh, about devotions, we can get a torch, right? Get some away and Kazras. Actually, I would like to have Aetherus instead, though. Hmm. It became toxic after your fever dissipated. Yeah, I already. I mean. You seem a lot chattier and healthier today than last time, for sure. So we're like, kind of assume that you're feeling better already. But yeah, did you did you take anything or did you just like sleep a lot to like overcome your fever? Fever for one day, headache for two. All right. It took cross the map, nice. Arm still hurts. Dissipated. How do you write that? And double S on it. Dissipated. Yeah. Not dissipated. Dissipated. Maybe touch the dead body, right? Feels weird, man. Oh, you got your Super JJ vaccination. I don't need to talk to these guys, actually, right? Like, what am I doing? 
Just do the quest from it. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? <laughs> In two weeks again? Money? Uh, they're scamming you, dude. In a way. I mean, it's still, at least you have one. I still don't. I didn't have, like, an appointment for my first shot. Like, I still don't have one. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. But, yeah. Uh, at least, at least you have one. At least you got the second one as well, shortly, but. Like, uh, with two weeks in between, it's kind of. Yeah, uh, it's kind of whack. <laughs> Jebait, Jebait accent? Yeah, yeah. Johnson and Johnson. Boris Johnson vaccine, right? You deregistered? Wait, what? You're not taking your second shot or what? Would have been Moderna Plaza? Yeah, they're always the mixing it, which is better than getting two JJ shots. It's like only getting JJ shots is like <laughs> against against the like Delta variant, for example, it doesn't do anything, right? JJ is just trash. Stop streaming in 1080. Your internet can't handle. Can you like not put down the quality today again? Is it scuffed again? He's bad, man. I'm sorry about that, but that's unfortunately on Twitch and like Twitch sometimes like removes the option for people to choose quality for some reason, especially like for dollars, like for for small streamers, right? He's bad, man. Oh, JJ is a single. No, it's not a single. It's like they just give you one because it's so scuffed, they don't give you a second one, that's why. Oh, yeah. A single vaccination? That doesn't even exist, dude. It is single? What? Dude, single vaccinations are like. They don't even work. <laughs> Like, it's the same with AstraZeneca, right? Like, they, they say it's a single one now, but it's not. I can just get a second one. It does work. But is JJ not the same as AstraZeneca? Maybe not. They're done, like, very similar. Sputnik Light? <laughs> it's already called Light, right? That kind of sounds a little bit suspicious. It does work. To a certain degree, yes. But like by... I don't know, like at least by pre-COVID standards, like single vaccinations don't work that well. Like in general. At least from what I know. You get another shot in 2022, yeah. Because your card was not gonna work anymore now, anyway. You only get one for Influenza too. But that's assuming that you already got one like the year before, or that you already like got another Influenza virus at some point in your life anyway, right? It's like when you are already like you already have like some kind of immunization in your body to like some kind of influence on it. So it does work. Yeah, like to a certain degree they always work. But like the chance of you getting something is always like way lower when you do like two. 
And when, when I say like they don't work, like single vaccinations don't work, I mean you can like in, in theory like use only like one shot of Biontech or like Pfizer etc as well, but like it's not gonna be that good. Like it, it does still work, like but the, the protection rate is not that good. And generally speaking, this is like the same for pretty much any vaccine. Not the second time until 2022 though. Until next year. That's, that's interesting. You can't get vaccinated? Yeah. I mean, they, they, they make a cut, like, somewhere around. Am I vaccinated? I am registered since since January. I still don't have an appointment. <laughs> oh well. I mean, the money grabbing will only like take actual effect if like the mutations spread. And if people like fuck up spreading mutations, then at some point of course they're not gonna work anymore. So then you actually like have to use another. But like getting the same one, that's not the question if it's actually gonna work or not. Still only applying for 40 plus here. Or 21 thing. These are yeah, let's start here that. You just go to pharmacists here. <laughs> yeah, lucky you. I mean, you can go. You can either go to like vaccination centers like you don't go there but like rather you register on the internet right i'm registered there since like january or you can like register res register with like your uh like your your standard doctor like your i don't know what it's called in english like a standard doctor for like everything right it's called like House, house doctor in Germany, but it's like not really like what it's called in English. Where you live, you can't get a vaccine without, without res registration, by the way. I've heard that from like several regions already in Germany. Like, um,. Like every time, I mean, I know like of other people also that have told me that for like their region, and then like whenever I go to their web page, like their homepage, right? Then they say, yeah, you can only you can go there without register like without registering, registering, but you have to actually like live there as well. Like if you don't live there, you can't just go there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And on the other page. I was also looking for like another region. You could, they said like they're taking people from like anywhere, but you have to register. So registered, and they said like yeah we're like taking people from outside. Come come. I registered and I like, still haven't like gotten anything from them like for two weeks now. <laughs> and like in Munich, I mean via the like. Vaccination centers is like not working at all. At least not for my age. And for the um, like the, the when you like go to the doctor, right? Or like go to the web page of the doctors, right? You have to like put yourself on a list, but like those lists are omega long. I mean, I'm, I'm on like some of those lists. So good. I don't know. They seem like still really long at this year in Munich. Time to artificial lights. Dude, I have artificial lights on like, already. 
just, I don't know, it's like really dark today. You can fly to Cuba and get vaccinated in the airport, yeah. I should just like go to Serbia, right? Or like Croatia. Like, you can get it easily, the apparently there. Okay, and also people who just like... Went to Croatia to like get vaccinated and like came back again. Fever and chills for like half a day, sounds fun. Mm. Sounds fun, yep. You have to actively choose a date. Um, no, you register, you register, and then you choose a date once there is a date for you available. But as long as like as long as there are no date for you available, you can't even choose a date. Like I tried clicking on like choose your date, but there's like no option. Right? There's no date for me to like choose from. Um, there still is no date for me to choose from. Otherwise, yes, I could just like choose a date, but I can't. Your 5G reception has been good since you got vaccinated. Nice. Maybe I should like get vaccinated to like stream in 4K, right? Bill Gates called you after you got vaccinated. Dang, I knew it. I knew it. Time for Lord of the Rings audiobook. You're gonna read? Like, read again? <laughs> Alright. Enjoy. Well, out of 23 hours in. You're on page, page 12 out of 23 hours. Nice. They just arrived in Portal. Steven Erickson book. Wait. Mm 
Bill Gates such a guy we speak every night after vaccination. Yes. Yeah, he probably like lost connection to his wife because like she didn't want 5G, but he has like 5G at home, right? Like he got vaccinated, she didn't, and like then they lost connection. Come. <laughs> You're gonna date Bill or his wife? <laughs> Why not both? Did you get banned? Oh no! Oh no! Taking damage. Damage has been being taken. Stand still, please. I need the motor to hit you. Stand still, thank you. Okay, perfect. That's like the one big bad thing about motor, right? You need the enemies to stand still, otherwise, um, it's gonna scuff. Self-imposed ban, more like self-imaginary ban. Yeah. I mean, you can become like if you believe hard enough, right? You can become anything, even banned. Seems good. Okay, what ability do we use to proc the Meteor Char? Because like, I'm using... I'm using fucking... Um, the Riggs Vector right now. It's kind of horrible. I should use Virus Smite, right? Like, why, why am I not using Virus Smite? I don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What do I take next, even? Dryad, right? Yeah, I think Dryad. To heal. Oof. Breaking damage. Eat the fire of thunder. Uh, you don't want to use that. Did I make a build to use the gun? Nah. Actually, no. This is another one. This is another one that I wanted to make before finding that gun. Even it's an older idea. It's gonna be pretty, pretty interesting as well. But yeah, how are you, man? Workman, Dorgon. Let's read this threat. There was much ice. My scouts have reported back. Fuck. My scouts have reported back. Minus one quest without XP pot. Just the first. There are two of. I have come to. Strong purifier died now. He didn't die. I just felt like leveling another character today. It's fine. It's not dead. It's pretty strong.
Yeah, I still gotta do Mog Jogan Ravager on the Purifier as well as Shadow Ram 65 to 66, right? Mortar damage, hello. What damage is kind of like okay, right? It's okay. But it's also not even amazing, right? It's not really that amazing. Unfortunately. Kill them, believer. Uh, we don't need to go inside of that. We just gotta go and get the shrine as well as like three more, no two more, insignias, right? Dude, how's everything blocked here? What is this? Dude, this is what is. What the hell? Look at this, right? Like blocked, 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 blocked. Wow. Why acid retail not fire? Because. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Because this is a build that was like a. How do you say that? Like a make me a build request, right? And the build request was to play Acid Granada. And then I basically theory crafted the retaliation part around Acid Granada. And yeah, I mean, it actually like, looked very wonky, however, still not that bad on paper, so I decided to just play it as well. Uh, Castle Remedia arranged. I guess I prefer Castle the most nowadays, but I used to play melee like a lot. Like I think I, I used to play more melee than caster, but I do play more caster than melee now. And range is kind of I don't know. I play it like once in a blue moon. I mean I play more range than pets. That's for sure. I was playing pet builds until the nurse. <laughs> Pet, oh my god, oh. And pets are good, but they're also super boring to play. <laughs> cool story, Bob. But yeah, like, er everything that Dargon is saying in chat, like, literally everything is always right. Like, it's always true, right? It's always true what Dargon is saying. He's always right. About everything. He's never trolling. Always right, never trolling. Never ever trolling. It looks like 1.9.2 buff physical builds. No, no, no. They, like, overall physical got nerfed. It's just like 200 physical are not as badly nerfed because of Kraken buff, right? And also, I mean, the changes aren't final. Like, they are they are going to compensate. Like, you can't really, like, you can't really, like see Xantai, like, posting some things that will, like, compensate a bit, right? So like, um, yeah, pets are not. I mean, uh, physical builds are aren't that bad. Right? Like they're not gonna be as bad as they are right now on this current test patch when like the patch actually releases. 
are gonna be, gonna be better than that. He's a truther, a truer. <laughs> Any truers and shit? True. What would I play with Retail Sigil and Oculus Visage? Uh, I have already played around that. I will play a Witchblade. I played it on Season 1, for example. Right, my ass retaliation Witchblade was literally using that helmet. More abuse than play. Can you, can you like, ever play Retaliation without abusing it though? I don't think you can. Can you arrange Retaliation now? That's not playing though, that's... I don't know, trolling. And storm totems die? No, they cannot. Oh, like they can only die if you, like if they run out of time, that right, they're like they have like a timer. I think all player scale pets are invulnerable actually. Like guardians can't die either, right? And I mean, model traps can't die. Storm totems can't die. They just have like a timer. And like some, and also like a max, um, like a limit on it. A number limit that you can have like active at the same time. Alright, not the worst, not the worst, right? I am told I can when the Legion was forced to bless. I've already here, The Inquisitor? Here. Wait, what? Who? Who? Oh my god. The Inquisitor? Who? Flashbang, right? Or just like max out this flame touched. Cam is blurry? Oh, yeah, thanks. Cam is resetting to automatic values again, even though it shouldn't. That's an old pasta I haven't seen in a long time either. I do actually remember that pasta though. Pretty yum yum. Yo, those the Pokemon.
Ah, uh, we're level 63 Speak after... what? After 2 hours? Alright, not too bad. 2 hours 17. Could have, could have been quicker if we like, went for a cocktail, right? But look. Motor trap's fine as well. to Bastion. You were wishing death on people? Well, not as well. <laughs> oh, the shit. Get him, mods. May the light. Any, any seals? Mod check? Alright, 64, 65 almost. So thanks for the follow, Dost. Welcome, welcome. Does anybody have unyielding living ring of the Dragon Ghoul for a trade? Dang. A hundred balloons? Are you trying to scam people? I mean, if you like, what if you like wish people a pleasant death in the future, right? Like, isn't it like a nice thing to say, to say like, I wish you a pleasant death in the future? Like, doesn't everybody have wants want to like have a pleasant death at some point in life? Like, it's still better than an unpleasant death, right? Toxic. How am I the toxic one now? Did I get debated again by you? Debated by audios into like saying toxic stuff on stream? Nice. Nice. <laughs> even red and red is like even more toxic. Nice. Alright, Commander Lulchius. Here we go. Jade in Western Europe isn't jail. Five-star hotel in your country. Yeah, just go to jail then. Especially people in Sweden joke, like, joke about that, right? Like Swedish jail in quotation marks. Come see what's left of my wares.
This one better than the other one, or no? It actually is, right? Has like five more veterans. Should be better. Also more away and yay. Yeah, it's an upgrade, I think. A keepable upgrade. How do I fix my Aether Rest, guys? It's still scuffed, right? It's still Omega scuffed. Am I honored with these guys? I am. Okay. Just get Aether Rest, there we go. And what else, what else, what else? I don't like people and don't, don't play Grim Dawn. Finnish presents only have guests. Okay. Um, let's get the Dryad right. The Dryad Devotion for healing. How do we get more arrests? We just get more arrests, right? You get more arrests. Okay, nice. Thanks, Dan. Just get it. The one and true answer. The one and only answer. Just get it. I need poison rest as well and like cold lightning. Fuck me, dude. I mean, I can like use a frozen heart, right? For cold, actually. For lightning? What do I do for lightning? And poison. Maybe like the other bell, like bit of a 60 bell, I mean a 50 bell, right? That I also have a mustache. Maybe that one is good actually. And I mean, I can just like use devotions, right? As well. Like I. I need one more for dry, then I have like four more points to like use for whatever I want to, right? Like, um, hmm. Like, Sarah's Guide wouldn't be that bad, right? Actually. Code and Lightning is. I mean, the dry isn't bad either. I think Dry does have actually Poison Rust. And also, there's Crane. Crane has Vit, Ellie, Bleed, and Poison Rust. Like, I don't really like Crane for endgame, but like, while leveling, it's a legit devotion if you like just need more resistance, isn't it? Pretty good for that, actually. I also need Pierce Rust, though, like, holy shit, I need so many resistances. And the problem is, like, Shieldbreaker, or rather, both Demolitionists as well as Shieldbreaker, as well as Oathkeeper, right? They both have no built in resistances, so like, Resistances are actually kind of hard to get on a Shieldbreaker, compared to like some other classes at least. Six second cooldown right now. Wow. Alright, um, where do we go? The link is a 42. Yeah, but the second link is not 42. 
Exclusive skill and belt have fire to acid conversion, exactly. That is correct. Oh, why am I going here? If I can go here. Good work! Took you long enough. Good work! Alright. <laughs> Acid. Holy fuck, what was that? Acid stronghold? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What's happening? Took you long enough. The code, it appears Took you long enough. <laughs> they had four heroes spawn while fighting the sentinel. Nice, and the gods were bored this day. <laughs> yes, I guess, yeah. Where are my guardians? There. Nice. Uh, no. Retaliation doesn't scale of percent fire anyway. Like, retaliation does only scale of percent retaliation. So, like, the only stat that matters when it comes to percent damage on the gear is percent retaliation. Like, everything else doesn't matter. If it's fire, if it's acid, doesn't matter. Like, both. Like, neither applies, right? The only thing that matters is percent retaliation. Like, you need a conversion to, like, convert the base retaliation damage, like, base fire and or also, like, physical retaliation damage. I don't think there's that much physical there on the build. Um, and then you need to scale it with, like, percent all retaliation, right, or, like, percent is as retaliation as well. So on my Warborn that uses Veronaut Sword to convert everything to physical, if I have elemental damage on a piece, it wouldn't apply anymore. Yeah, flat elemental wood percent would not, right? The percent, I mean the flat gets converted and then afterwards scaled with physical only and not with um, any elemental. Like, you can't double dip on percent damage conversion. You always convert first and then you apply percent. That's like how it always works. Even with retaliation, right? Like, if you had, say, some stats, I mean, there, there aren't like that much. Like, there aren't that many items or skills that give you like percent retaliation, but like just to one damage type, right? But if you had like percent fire retaliation and percent acid retaliation, and you convert fire to acid, then also for retaliation damage only the percent as retaliation would affect you, right? But most of the retaliation damage is like percent all retaliation anyway, so like it does affect both fire as well as uh, acid, right? But like not twice. Yeah, Cog's brand has like some flat damage, right? Like the fire flat or something like that. So yeah, that would be converted to acid or whatever you're converting it to, like to physical, yeah, exactly. Or does it have flat lighting? I don't know, like flat fire or flat lighting, right? I mean, either way, yeah, the flat will be converted to physical. That is correct. Both? Okay. 
Yeah, it's converting both to physical. And then like scaling it with percent physical. Ah, I should do the totem right. Let's do the totem as well. Totems are fun. Never sub to a streamer, but if, if it wasn't, if I wasn't this broke, this would be the one. You're a, you're a sub in my heart now. Oh shit! Almost died. I not quit. Use chains of anguish. So good for leveling. Plus one of skills. Doesn't even have plus one of those skills, dude. Oh my god. I'm taking it. I'm taking damage. It's a hidden bonus. <laughs> yeah, it's also a hidden death. And you can also like just support somebody. Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Daywalker FT Blade. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Fade Dos Odyssey. I mean now you really are a sub. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the gifted uh sub Daywalker. Welcome and welcome on Fade Dos Odyssey. And yeah, thanks for the support man. Um, has it cocktail retail? No, it doesn't even use cocktail. Doesn't even use the cocktail. Maybe I should. Broke bro to broke bro. But you broke yourself as well, but you're still subbing, uh, gifting him. Bang. That's like next level bromance. Alright, uh, oh shit, why is there still a wave here? <laughs> uh, Morka? That's the, that's the correct response here. Yeah. Excuse me? Okay, do we play flash bang as well? Do we bang? Do we flash bang? Uh, maybe not yet, right? Uh, this is like the second feature content feature of content for the stream, yeah, kind of. The toxic side of Twitch. I mean, I did the same thing. <laughs> I 
Ah, it's not even toxic sometimes, it's just like... Random as fuck. Ah, this is mostly just like random as fuck. On a tip, there's a dollar sign. I mean... You can tip with whatever you want. I think. Not sure. My birth was also, also random. I mean... The birth itself wasn't random, but like... Exactly that sperm cell hitting like that. Egg, right? It was kind of random, I guess. Speedrun, any percent? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think we just like get some points to crane because like I do just need some resistances here. I need a lot of them. Oh, so yeah, Aether, like fuck Aether. I mean, I guess I have to like use a Purified Salt for ultimate, right? Like one Purified Salt instead of like one Enchanted Flint. I'm gonna lose some damage, but... Uh, it's better to have 8% capped rest and like a little bit less damage than to be dead, right? Like being dead is not, not that good, right? I cannot suggest being dead. Can't recommend it. Right? Can't recommend. Uh, let's kill Caraxes, and then we're basically done. I mean, we also like we're gonna go to better home, like find quotation marks better home, and then we're basically done. The last rep, the waykeeper, probably. Yeah. Whatever it is, wrecked by Terragon, right? What you and I can. I get flashbang. It's time to get the flashbang. A blessed way. Do you now pay monthly for the broken brother? No, I don't think so. I think when you gift it's only like a one time thing, right? I mean, uh, I think so, at least.
All right, we're gonna get to 70 here real quick, and then we're gonna take a look at the build that we should do, right? A Fate Weaver build. Three-piece Fate Weaver, even though it's not really like a set. There's one more group here to rescue, or is there not? I can't pull that actually. Or did I already get them? I already got them, right? Yeah, there's only one group like here and none here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, you can totally do this, right? Like, you can totally play with us and this, and play around Guardians and Water Trap. Like, it's not that bad, even. I still haven't gotten the big one, right? Oops. I should, like, push here and get the big one as well. Oops. Oh, well. I mean, we have, like, more than enough levels left than ultimate. Alright, stay, Walker. Thanks again for the support, man. And, yeah. I'll catch you around, man. Good night, good night. But as far as I know, like, gifted subs should not, um, like, automatically uh, continue. Nice level, yo, Toma, welcome on. Yes, yes, very nice level, very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice level. Mm, how many hours? 2.45? Too nice level? Not too bad, not too bad. Finally finished that scuffed physical penalty build. Are you like both leveling at the same time, like you and Ground Zero? It's kinda cute. So you're level 94 now as well? Started a bit ago, but yeah, that makes sense. 
<laughs> racing. Two man first penalty race. Nice. Dude, we should like totally do a, a Panetti event, but like do a Panetti race. Like who can get, who can push deepest with Panetti or something like that. So, uh, or like who can speed up the quickest with Panetti. Panetti challenge. That's so mega bad. <laughs> In 2021, then it is still worse than Blade Shop in OFF. I mean, yeah, it literally is. I mean, Panetti can kill more bosses than OFF, though. But then again, like, uh, OFF and Blade Trap aren't designed to be main abilities, right? Panetti is designed to be like a main damage ability. Okay, I think we just like put bonds down here now, right? I oh, could do this quest, but like who cares, right? Um, who can go deepest with the Sawyer and Pinapte? Actually, maybe we should do this quest though. Like, it's a free window quest, right? It's not that, not that bad to do it. I mean, we could like do all in one, right? Like do one event, like the Panetti event, and then like have several challenges. And, like who can speed level the quickest with just Panetti? Who can or, like level without speed leveling gear with the quickest with just Panetti? Who can push deepest with Panetti? Who has like the quickest crucible with Panetti, right? You could like do all the stuff, right? Like first Celeste kill with Panetti, right? Go like full Panetti event, Panetti season basically. Who wants to do the sanity event? <laughs> what do I mean? Penalty is fine. the other thing again. Over here, right? A serenity crafting event. <laughs> Yikes. Ten K DPS is fine. Oh yes, my Ludwig gets sustain. Copy the bell and you're scared to even play it. Um, it's like a mix of healing via bat I don't know who and um, just like half gem, like giant's blood. And also, most importantly, you don't want to get hit, right? You just want to like put your totems down and like run around in circles. And uh, when you do get hit, though, you. Well, you nullify yourself from debuffs and you mirror up to like not take any damage, right? Have you dealt rap no, I'm not doing this quest anymore though. That's too much. You have joints? I think I do. Well, I mean, I have, um... I'm not sure which version you copied. If you copied like the old, older build, that one was, um... A little different, yeah. And I've, I've made like three different Silvario, I mean, um, Lujugan builds actually. So I'm not sure like which version you were exactly copying. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this 1 to 71 I'm leveling here and normally lit with this, well, <laughs> Water Trap, Guardians of Hyperion, Sheep Breaker. Thanks so much everybody for watching on YouTube as well. 
I'll catch you around on the next one.